Before we get started building our web page template for our website, one of the things we got to notice is we got a few little small things we got to clean up. Notice how the right here by the home button and up here by the banner, we look like we're about a pixel off. Same over here with this menu bar, uh, the menu buttons here actually look about a pixel off there as well. We want to go ahead and clean that up and also this is our splash page. This is going to go on the home page. So we want to put basically a background image back here that we can use as a default image for building our websites. Now most likely with this website we're probably going to have about three templates that we're going to need to build for this site. One for each of the buttons that you see here. Each one of these uh, pop-ups when they click on teacher or orthos or sketches. We've got to have a page for that. And then we'll probably have a page also for other content such as videos and photos, also for our certification. So we need to create a couple template pages uh, for this site so that we can manage it and build content rapidly. So now let's go back to Dreamweaver real quick. And we have Dreamweaver up and we have this one page that we're working on. I call it Prototype Website uh, Template Test 001. It's kind of a long name, but it's what I'm using. I'd already gone ahead and copied it from this actual page right here. So I'm going to go ahead and kill or collapse that page and turn it off and just work with this one. So if I make a mistake, I can go back to the one I just turned off, make another copy of it, and just continue forward. That's kind of smart practice. So let's go up here to the banner and go over to the banner, right, as you see right here in our CSS uh, styles here. We'll double click on the banner and it'll open up uh, our banner rules. So what we're going to do is come down here to block and notice that looks pretty good. That's what we'd already set. We're going to come to border. Uh, here's where we're going to need to make our change. We're going to go ahead and set it to one pixel as you see there. We're going to go ahead and select a color. I'm going to select the navy blue which is what I have been working with. I'm going to apply that and hit OK. So let's take a look at it now. So we'll go back into Chrome and we'll do a preview in Chrome. Uh, save our files of course and you can see it actually made a change but we got another little problem here see the border itself needs to be thicker for the actual body content as well but before we get to that let's go ahead and fix the menu itself and make the border thicker around the menu uh, dev tag here so we'll go back to Dreamweaver and again very simply we'll go back here and find menu see it right here double click bring that up we'll come back here to the box that looks all good. We'll come down here to the border. We'll set that to one pixel as well. And again, we'll go up to this upper corner and get that navy blue, the dark navy blue. Again, we'll test it in Chrome, see what it looks like. Okay. So now you can see that thickened it up quite a bit. I kind of like that. So we're going to go back here to Dreamweaver one more time. And we're going to scroll down here to the body tag. Double click on it. Come over here to... Again, we'll check our box. Yep, that's what we had set it for. We'll go back to border. Again, we'll put one pixel on here. Again, we'll come over here and select the dark navy blue color right there. Hit OK. And we'll do another preview and check it out. Actually, we'll try to look at it in live view. We'll come over here to just design view. That looks pretty clean. I like that. Now let's scroll down here and let's check the bottom. Ah, again, we got to fix this one. Uh, got to change that from a zero pixel to a one pixel with a dark border around the footer. So we'll come over here, scroll down till we find footer. There it is. Open it up. Uh, we'll come down here to border. Uh, again, we'll set that to one and we'll set that to uh, navy blue. Hit OK. And let's just go ahead and look at it in Chrome. Let's see what we got. So we pop that up in Chrome. We'll save the file. And yes, this looks pretty good. I'm liking that. And it's cleaned up this bottom here, so everything looks really smooth. Okay, so that's good. Let's go back here to uh, Dreamweaver, take a look at it. That's all good. We'll go back to our split view. Now, let's take out, let's go ahead and take out this Richard Platt uh, splash image right here. We're just going to go ahead and take that one we'd already put in, hit delete, and we'll go over here to live view, turn it off, turn it back on. Oh, it looks like everything's gone. So well, again, let's take it out in Chrome, see what we got. Save that file. Yeah, here you go. So you got this big area right here, this uh, 1024 by 768. And that's where our content's going to go. Well, let's put a background image in there and use our style sheet to manage that for us. So we'll go over here to Photoshop, click on Photoshop, and you can already see I've got my title up there. So let's go here to a blank test template that page I've got. There it is. Okay. So I'll come down here to Gradient, and you can see I'll select Gradient. I've kind of been working on this one gradient here because I like these 
uh, navy blue and gold colors as you see here. So I went ahead and preset that. If you don't like the way it's laid out, you can kind of move things around and kind of adjust it, you know, to your till you find your liking of how you want something to look. So I kind of move this over a little bit, maybe get a little bit more of a gradient somewhere in here. Yeah, kind of like that. Okay, so it's okay. So holding my shift key down, I'm going to click at the top just below above the uh, uh, graphics area and just pull straight down with my shift key keeps everything vertical and looks nice yeah that looks pretty good so we'll go ahead and save this uh, file we're gonna say save as we're gonna make sure that it's in our images folder which is good and I'll say test template background 001 I like that as well hit OK save it and of course we want to save for web gotta save it for the web so we'll come over here and we'll save for web and uh, let's look at our resolution, everything 30, that's plenty good. Uh, JPEG is plenty good. We just hit save. So we're going to save that and we're going to put that in our website. We'll come back up here to our documents, put it on our website, go to our images folder, and we're going to save that. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and highlight that ahead because I'm going to use that name. Hit save. And I've already got one in there, so I'm going to replace it. Go back to Dreamweaver. And now let's go up to our body uh, CSS style rule. We'll go to background. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and browse. And I'm going to make sure that I'm in my images folder. Instead of looking for that file again, I'll just do a control V because that's where I saved it for in Photoshop. So I hit save for that. And I'll hit uh, OK for this. And looky there, it put that background image in. So let's go check it out in Chrome. Save it again and there it is okay that looks good so this is the basis of what our uh, dream of template is going to be to build all these other pages as you see here so that's really good we're going to stop for now because the video is getting a little bit long and we'll come back to this before we can actually create a, a, a template in dreamweaver for our website we actually have to create a website I've already gone ahead and done that. So I'm going to come down here to Manage Sites. If I didn't have a site, I would click on New Site. But the process is pretty close to the same. So I click on Manage Sites. And I've already gone down here and set up this one called Richard Platt, Richard underscore Platt underscore website. And if I want to, I can edit that by hitting this uh, selected site here. It's pretty much the same. You come up here to the very top, you give your site a name. I call this a Richard underscore site. I tell it where on my hard disk, where my local files are going to be stored. Not my remote files, but my local files that I'm developing here on this computer. Then I'll come over here to servers, and I've already set up this test server for this one, but I'll show you what it looks like. So I'll go ahead and click on this, and I'll edit that. Now I use Yahoo as my web hosting service. So I've given this a name. I call my server name test underscore server. I come down here. Yahoo requires that I use uh, FTP over. Uh, SSL slash TLS explicit encryption. I give it the FTP name to my website. I give my login name. I give my password. I hit test and I tell it what directory I'm going to put up on my web server. So I've already gone up and set up a file, sir, uh, a directory on my web server uh, wherever Yahoo puts that web server. And then I set up this web URL which is http colon slash 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 FTP dot Richard Platt. Uh, dot net slash zero zero one and I set my encryption to none and then for any more options I want I use passive FTP FTP with use FTP performance optimization so that's my uh, link to my server now you would have done this if you'd gone up and created the new button for creating your server you had gone through these exact steps and once you got it done you would come over here and you would test and see if you can connect to your server now here you see it says Dreamweaver connected to your web server successfully. Ah, that's good news actually. <laughs> so that way I can get to my files on the remote host. So I can hit OK. So we're already done all this. We'll hit save. We'll hit uh, save again. And we'll hit OK. And we'll hit done. When I do that, you can see over here, I can see my remote server. If I connect to it and link up to it, it's going to link up to that server. And it's going to show me all my files that I've already created. OK, so they're up there. And if I want to go back to my local view, I hit local and I can see the files there. So that looks good. Now, what we're going to do now is going to go ahead and create what's called an editable region. Let's go here to design view. In design view, I don't want to change this menu system. I don't want to change anything up here for Richard Platt. Now, I don't want to change my banner. That's all good. I like that. Everything's fine on that. If I do change it, I'll change it in my CSS styles and it'll change automatically. But this is the area where I want to put my content, the body uh, dev tag that's right in here. 
So I'll make this region out here an editable region. So we'll go back to split view and I'm just going to select the body region dev tag right here. So it says dev uh, dev high, uh, space ID equal body uh, and then you know, greater than less than sign slash dev. I'm selecting that area there. Now so I'm going to come up here to insert and I'm going to come down here to template objects and I'm going to say editable region. So I'll click on this and it's the streamer will automatically convert the documents uh, to a template. Okay, that's good. So do that and I'm going to give this editable region a name. I'm going to call this body uh, editable region. Okay, I'll just go ahead and hit OK on that. And it went out and did something. Well, if you notice, it did something quite amazingly. It started graying out a lot of the stuff and it said it made an editable region right here. Well, now what we need to do is save this file as a Dreamweaver template. So I'll come over here and what I'll do is I'll go and just cancel out of this first. Let's say save as a template. That's better. So it says there's my website, Richard underscore Richard Platt there. And then I'm going to give this, this a name. I'm going to say DW underscore, just make that all lowercase, DW underscore main underscore template underscore. I'm a big version control guy. So I'll go ahead and hit save. So I hit save on that. And it says update links. And we'll say sure. Go ahead. Why not? So I went ahead and did that. And now notice the file up here. It says DW main underscore template. Uh, 001.dwt so saved me a template. Well, let's go see what it did in the file structure. So come out here to the file structure. It actually added um, in this uh, in my folder for all my files. It added a template. So I'll double click on that, and there's the template file. Now let's create a new document. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a new document. So we'll go back to Dreamweaver. Now we're going to stop here for a moment. I need to go do some file cleanup so you can see how this whole process is going to work. Okay, a lot has changed actually. We just don't quite see it. Notice how right here it's highlighted in blue in the code area. It says right above that it says template begin edible name body edible region. Okay, that's the thing we keyed in. And it's in, in this common. It's got this blue thing selected here. Well, we're in Live View, so we really can't see what's changed. So I'll go ahead and hit this and turn Live View off. You can see right here it says Body Edible Region. So let's quickly take a look at that in Chrome and see what we got. So, well, everything looks kind of the same in this Dreamweaver template that we got. Now remember, we're going to be building web pages off of this template. We're not actually going to use it as a file that we copy and paste, copy and paste. That's not going to happen. So let's go back to Dreamweaver real quick. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new file. So I'm going to come up here and say File, New, uh, where's New, there it is, hit New, and then I'm going to say From Page, From Template, and then I've got this file that I've already created up here. So we're going to go ahead and say Create. So we hit Create, and there it is. It says the Edible Region. Now notice how everything on the code side is grayed out. Well, that's good because we don't want to change that. That all looks really good. We like that. So we're going to come down here to this one spot. Well, I'm just going to go to Live View here, actually Design View, turn Live View off, and I can click up here and I can start keying in, uh, keying in things. So before I do that though, let's go back to the Split View, and I'm going to create a new file. So I'm going to come all the way up here to the top, I'm going to give this file a name. I'm going to go to my first menu item that I've created. Uh, let's see, that's Illustrator, you come on up here, you see uh, About Me, and then you come up here and you see this index right here. I'm going to select on that, I'm going to come down here to index.html. So I'll grab that, I'll do Control C, and I'm going to do File, Save As, and I'm going to call this index, and it's going to be right here in my website folder. I'm going to go ahead and say Control V. So I say Control V, and it says index.html, I'm going to hit Save. Now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and insert right here that splash image again. So I go back up here to insert image because I want that to be on my first uh, thing. It opens up the images folder and I'm going to scroll down here until I find that splash image. Yeah, I got a lot of files here. But that's okay. That's the content I need for my website. So I'll come on down here and I'll find this splash image that I created right here, this JPEG file. Preview it. Yep, that's it. So we'll go ahead and do that. And we're going to give it some alternate text name. Well, well, what alternate text is, that's for people who have reading disabilities. And if they open up a website, it'll go out there and read what's on that. So I'm going to say Richard Platt's uh, Splash Image File. Okay. And I'll hit OK. 
and it's going to come out there and put that file in there. So let's scroll up here on this side, take a look at it. Wow, I got this thing out here that says body edible region. I hope it didn't mess up. So let's go ahead and look at it in Chrome. So I'll hit F12. Yes, I want to save the images to that file. Oh, looky there. It came up and gave us our images for our website. Everything looks good. That's, that's really nice. That's what I want. Okay, now what we're going to do is create the contact page here, and then we'll start creating all these other pages out here. But let's go now and create that content page. Okay, so we're going to go back to Dreamweaver, and we're going to go create a new file. And we'll say new file here. And it automatically, because the last time I created a file, say page from template, it came up here and said the same thing. So that's good. Go ahead and create that. Now, the next file is going to be the contact page. So let's kind of go up here and let's find, uh, let's see where I'm at. I'm in animations now. Let's go ahead and scroll this over a little bit and so I can see a little bit better. I'm going to come up here. There's my CSS style sheet and here it is, the contact page. So I'm going to grab this name. The reason I'm doing it in this way is because I know the names will always match the URLs and uh, the pages that I'm linking to in my uh, button. So I'll go ahead and uh, copy that, control C. I'll go back, back down here uh, to this. And what I'm going to do is go into design view. I'm just going to come out here and I'm going to come down to where it says format. And I'm going to say heading one. And I'm going to go ahead and paste in control V, paste in the home content. So let's see if I did this correctly here. I'm not sure if I did that right. So I'll go back up here to F12. And I'll save this to that name. Well, no, not yet. I'm going to save it to the one I just copied, which is the home contact page. So it's going to come up here. Ah, I missed it, so I need to fix that. Okay, that's no big deal. You're going to do this, and that's one of the reasons I went ahead and did this, so you can see the mistake that you go commonly make. So I'll go back down here. I'll go back to my code view and go to split view so I can see it. Yeah, I see what I did wrong here. So what I'll do is I'm just going to take this out. In that code view, it's a common mistake that a lot of people make, so it's no big deal, so don't sweat it. So we'll come down here, and we'll go stop right there. We'll hit refresh, and we'll start right there, and we'll say H1. So we we'll hit the H1 in here, and then we'll come over here and hit the H1 there as well. So close that off. That looks good. Let's go ahead and go back to Chrome, take a look at it. Hit save and preview. Yeah, save that file, and it comes up. Ah, oh, that's perfect. So now, if I'm in this preview right here in Chrome, I'll just go ahead and hit the home button. I link back there. I'll go back to content and there's my page. Now I'm just putting these file names in here so I can use it as a marker for later when I come back and add more content. But right now I got to build all these pages and keep going. So we're going to stop here now and I'm going to go back and build all these pages and basically the same process I just did. And you're, if you're going to be following me along with me, following along with me, you're going to come back and do the same thing.